friends and families, Jenny here, and today I thought this would be a great book to read together. We've been spending a lot of time in our homes, and today we read a story about three pigs and the three different homes that they built. So let's read Home by Carson Ellis. Some of the homes in this story might look like yours. Some of the homes in this story might be pretend, or maybe not. Let's see. Home by Carson Ellis. Pretty bird we see. Do you see the bird's home? There it is. That's their nest. And your home is like your little nest. Home is a house in the country. Or home is an apartment. Some homes are boats. Some homes are wigwams. Some are palaces or underground lairs. Or shoes. Do you remember the story about the old woman who lived in the shoe and had all of those children she just didn't know what to do. Look at all of those children living in a shoe. Would you fit in a shoe? French people live in French homes. Atlantans make their homes underwater. Hmm, would we be able to live underwater? I don't think so. And some folks live on the road. So they're on the bus. Clean homes, messy homes, tall homes, short homes. C homes, B homes, hollow tree homes. So he lives in this hollow tree. But whose home is this? Who do you think would live there way up high in the mountains on the cliffs? And what about this? Could someone live in a tiny house? Who would that be? Must be very small to fit under a teacup. Who in the world lives here and why? So I see our earth way over here. So this must be on another planet out in space. This is the home of a Slovakian duchess. This is the home of a Kenyan blacksmith. They're different, but they're both homes. This is the home of a Japanese businessman. That looks different. This is the home of a Norse god. A babushka lives here. A moonian lives here. Is that someone from the moon? Maybe. A raccoon lives here. So this looks like it's the inside of a tree. An artist lives here. This is my home, 
and this is me. Where is your home? Where are you? The end. I hope you enjoyed the story Home by Carson Ellis. And maybe today you can try building or drawing or creating your home or the home you would like to imagine and live in or pretend. All right, friends, we'll read together again soon. Have a great day. Bye.